Hi everyone, I'm here at VJ and Angela Scutt Catholic High School in Omaha, Nebraska, and I'm sharing with you the first immersive rolling ball sculpture. This rolling ball sculpture actually takes a student's creative effort and puts it into display to have it work together. So how do we do that? So if we look inside this display, we'll see that the rolling ball sculpture has voids within it. There's a big one here, one here, one here, and there's actually a three-dimensional one here. So uh, the three-dimensional void, it's a platform where the ball jumps over it. And actually the students can take a sculpture that they might make in art class or a piece of uh, pottery from pottery class, put it on the pedestal and have the ball jump over it. They could even make a piece that might jump through it. Uh, these voids back here are for canvases. Art class might want to make a piece of art that plays off movement or motion or color and they can put the pieces of artwork in the back of the display to show all the students. Now this is the exciting part of the sculpture. This is called the student module. And the student module allows the students to build a section of the rolling ball sculpture that accepts a ball at the top and releases the ball at the bottom. So here's an example of a student module built out of cardboard. The box or the module is built according to specifications and slid right into place when they're completed. Once the module is in place firmly, the ball will just enter and run normally with the rolling ball sculpture as it operates all day. And uh, what's neat about it is the students can use their creativity in any way possible. All they know is they need to accept the ball and release the ball, and they get to learn about problem solving, failure mode analysis, and all kinds of um, topics related to engineering and design. Another neat part about this sculpture is that it is for the 20th year anniversary, or the 20th anniversary of the school. And for that, we have a section of the sculpture here where 20 balls collect, representing the 20 years of Scott Catholic. And when the 20th ball does arrive there, it releases them all in succession. And I'll show you some video of that. So uh, this is called Education in Motion, and it really is an exciting piece, and it really is going to get children's minds thinking about creativity.